So I just wanted to give my thoughts on AEW uh, All Out. I just finished watching the pay-per-view. Oh, my God. Guys, I thought for a second there that when Adam Cole came out that we weren't getting Brian Danielson. I was slightly disappointed, but I was like, no. I was like, they, they've they got to end it with a happy note. They can't send the fans home feeling like, oh, shit, this kind of sucks. But in a good way, it kind of sucks because Adam Cole is there. But, but then they brought out Brian Danielson. I mean, we saw CM Punk back. I mean, CM Punk's there. Brian Danielson's there. Adam Cole's there. I mean, guys, it's like we knew that Punk and Brian were going to be there. But at the same time, even though you know, you knew they were going to be there, you're still so excited and happy and overjoyed about it. You can't believe it. I mean, I was watching CM Punk's match and I couldn't believe this was happening. I felt like I was living in a dream. Like, I couldn't believe that CM Punk is back. Like, I still felt like I had to pinch myself to feel like that this is actually happening before our very eyes. That CM Punk is back in pro wrestling. And... and and I mean, look at it like this, freaking Adam Cole. I mean, you know, we we you know we had a thought that you know he might um, leave WWE. You know, we didn't know because there's there was no backstage uh, news you know leaked about any of that. Um, <laughs> I mean, think of it. They gave Adam Cole the world in NXT, and this man left WWE to go to AEW. Brian Danielson was just in the main event. Not on night one, the main event. The main, main event of WrestleMania. And I mean, in my opinion, you know, if you're the last match of WrestleMania, I don't care if it's night one or night two, you are the true main event. That's just my opinion. You know, take it as you will. But Brian was there in the main event of WrestleMania of this year. And he's... And, and he left, and he's in AEW. So WWE can fuck off by saying that they're not competition. This place is competition, okay? Now, I don't. I want people to realize something, okay? Is that you know, AEW may not catch up to WWE in the viewerships, but look at the amount of buzz. That is going around with AEW. The excitement of the fans. How loud the fans are. How the, the crowds feel like it's almost like the Attitude Era again. Now, I was a kid during the Attitude Era. So, I mean, my my memory of the Attitude Era, you know, isn't really the best. But, I mean, you watch the videos and the crowds of how electric they are in, like, videos. I'm telling you guys, AEW is becoming that. If not, they already are. Now... It's not fair to compare eras, you know, because every era is different. Um, but just look at the excitement that fans have, the joy that fans have with AEW, and you get them compared to WWE. I'm not saying that WWE doesn't have good moments. They do have good moments. But there's just something special about AEW, guys. The, the, what we saw from the Steel Cage match with the Young Bucks and the Lucha Brothers... I felt like I wanted to cry because of how emotional it was when Pentagon, uh, or Penta went to go, you know, help out Ray Phoenix by protecting him from Matt Jackson's, you know, thumbtack boot uh, or shoe. I, I was like, oh my God, that's just amazing because I'm an older brother and that's something that you do for your younger siblings. <laughs> it's just, it was so emotional. And then when they won, you know, you get them, they're, they're in tears. I mean, these, these brothers have been tag teaming, you know, for so long. They've been tag champions around the world. And this meant something to them. It was so special. Uh, I mean, even uh, freaking Christian Cage and Kenny Omega, that was an awesome match too. Punk and Darby, again, I couldn't believe what I was watching. I couldn't believe that Punk was here. You know, I, the match started off kind of slow, but I think it was a great m m way to really um, uh, ease Punk back into it. I mean, because, you know, Punk, this was the first match that he's had. You know, he did, you know, I believe some type of in-ring work with uh, on the show Heels. Um, I think that he did a little bit of that. 
but doing it on a camera and doing well doing it on a movie set or show set whatever you want to call it and in front of a live audience is two different things so i think that was a great way to bring it in and and you know you can't say that darby took it easy on punk he didn't darby wrestled like darby wrestles he didn't wrestle like he was you know wrestling against a rick flair or anyone like that darby wrestled as if he was wrestling against like a cody rhodes uh, i mean it's just you know and even the women's casino battle royal that that was a great match too um you know Britt baker and you know um uh for her name chris statlander sorry that was a great match i mean I'll be honest, I wasn't really able to see it, you know, I ordered some pizza, and, you know, had to go to, the, you know, use the restroom, and unfortunately, that was my bathroom break. Nothing against the women, nothing against Britt Baker, but my my stomach said, if you don't go now, <laughs> you, we'll just leave it at that one, so, um, but, you know, from the highlights that I saw, that was a nice match. Um, there was no bad matches on the card. Um, I could, I'll be honest, no, no offense to Paul White, but I, you know, I can't believe that he went after CM Punk. I was like, it was a little bit awkward, but you know, whatever. Uh, I was just, oh, guys, tell me that it's not a great, you know, time to be a wrestling fan. You can't, you can't. This is, this is incredible. This is amazing. I, I I don't care if AEW is only going to do 1.3 million viewers and, you know, Raw will do 1.8 million. Views? Stop thinking about the views. Think about, you know, if you want to talk about stuff, talk about the ratings, the demos, the type of stuff that, you know, the TV networks are actually looking at. Um, those things are important. So if you want to compare to how it's looking from WWE and AEW, you can talk about views as much as you want. But when it comes to the nitty gritty, a lot of it is about the ratings and the demographics who are out there. I mean, I for almost forgot Chris Jericho and MJF. I legit almost thought Chris Jericho was going to lose this match. Um, because, you know, he, you know, it was, it was just played play with the strings a lot. Um, it was just, it's such, it was such a great night. I mean, I wish... I was there live, but at the same time, I have no regrets. I don't, you know, if I wasn't able to make it there live, that's fine. This was nice just to be able to to watch this. I mean, if you can't tell me, I don't remember how much the pay-per-view was. It was like maybe like $50. You, you could pay $50 for this. I mean, this, this, this show... I can't say enough good things about it. I can't say enough good things about AEW. It's amazing to think that wrestlers from WWE who, um, you know, leave, they're going straight to this place. I mean, again, think of it. Adam Cole could have had the world brought to him on the main roster. Could you have trusted Vince McMahon to keep it that way? It's debatable. But he leaves. To go to AEW, you know, yes, his friends are there. Yes, his girlfriend is there. You know, but, you know, WWE is WWE. I mean, and he managed to keep a relationship with his girlfriend and his friends, you know. And, I mean, I, I you kind of figured that Adam Cole was going to turn, was going to stay with the elite because, I mean, they were outnumbering him. So, it's like, <laughs> what the fuck, you know, you, you think I'm going to turn against you guys and get my ass kicked? No way. But, boy, oh boy, this is, it was just a night, man. This is one of the best pay-per-views I've ever witnessed. And you can call me a mark, you can call me a fanboy as much as you want. But, I mean, think of this, how special of a night this was. I mean, and you can trust AEW when they say they're going to deliver something. Pretty much 9.5 times out of 10, they deliver it. And again, I probably sound like I'm kissing ass, but you know what? I really don't care. I, I am having so much fun being a wrestling fan. I'm having so much fun watching AEW. It is the 
thing that I look to most out of the week is when I can watch AEW. Look, there are some times that maybe AEW doesn't do things perfect. No company is going to do things perfect. But a lot of times they're doing an amazing job over there. And the wrestlers are staying happy. You know, they're able to do things. I mean, John Moxley just went to GCW and beat Matt Cardona for the GCW championship. Can you believe that? I mean, can you believe that wrestlers have this amount of freedom and they're able to be with a big time company like AEW and still manage to do something like that? I think that's incredible. It's, it's amazing what the wrestling world is able to do. I just... It's amazing, guys, about the what's happening. I mean, freaking, you know, AEW has worked with New Japan. I mean, we got Minoru's, uh, I don't even know if I want to try to pronounce it, Suzuki. I don't know. I don't really want to try pronouncing the, the first name because I'm afraid I'll fuck it up. But Suzuki, you know, I thought that match was going to happen like at a special dynamite, like a, I don't know, you could call it a road rage or whatever. Um, I thought it was going to happen at a, at a special event like that. But no, it's happening this Wednesday. That's, that's insane. It's insane about what's happening. And it's a good insane. Unbelievable. I just, I can't believe it, guys. This, is, this, this show is amazing. Pro wrestling is amazing. And if you're not excited right now as a wrestling fan, <laughs> I don't know who the hell you are. This is honestly one of the best times to be a wrestling fan. And again, WWE can fuck off by them saying they're not competition. They sure as are. I mean, think about it. AEW's been around for what? Only like two and a half years and just how quickly they've caught their catching up and building so much momentum. They're only going to get better and bigger. And eventually, the, at more advertisements are going to notice these guys. And you're going to want to start to go with them instead of WWE. You know, excuse me. WWE has got, you know, their history. That is, it feels like the only thing that they've got going for them right now. It's just the fact that they've been around for years. AEW's proven themselves. You know, like Punk said, the reason why he went to AEW, or he didn't go for at first, is because... He needed to see if this company could thrive and stay alive. And it's doing that. And it's showing no signs of slowing down. It's only getting better. I mean, <laughs> now you added, you know, Adam Cole back into the elite. I mean, think about what he's going to bring to the table. This is going to be amazing. And now we got Brian Danielson there. I don't think he could do the yes chance. I'm not sure. But then again, I mean, what, is WWE going to say we own the rights to the word yes? <laughs> or maybe he just doesn't want to do yes anymore. Well, we'll see. You know, it's he just debuted. So, and, you know, again, like I told my dad this as we were watching the show. Like, uh, AEW knows how to use the veterans. They bring Sting out there. He shakes hands with Punk. Punk and Sting, they lift up Darby. Yes, did a veteran, you know, he's not even a part-time punk says, you know, that he's going to try to be there full-time. You know, is he going to be on every show? No, you know, not everyone has to be on every show. But, you know, he's going to do uh, as much as he can. Um, and yes, you know, um, a new guy came in and beat someone on the roster, which is normally something that, you know, we would probably shit on WWE for. But look at it like this. Darby looked, you know, is a star already on AEW. And he looked good against Punk because he put in a hell of a fight. Both men put in a hell of a fight. And they shook hands, Punk acknowledging Darby, Darby acknowledging Punk and welcoming him there. It's, you know, they, they both looked good. And that's what matters most. You know, you can have the veteran guys beat the other guys and make both men look good. So they just, they, they're they really smart about how they book. You know, they may, again, I don't want to kiss ass too much. I'm sure there have been some times that they've done something that I don't agree with. And that's okay. No one's going to do everything perfect. But, you know, this was just an amazing night for professional wrestling. <sighs> I, I 
I'm just so excited. I can't believe it. I'm like, I'm already wanting to see what's next, but you, I have to just take it in and allow myself to breathe and just enjoy what just happened. Anyways, guys, this was just me just, you know, reviewing, you know, a little bit of uh, AEW um, All Out and just reminding you that yet again, yes, this is the future. This is now. Um, AEW is the hottest wrestling promotion that is out there right now. In my opinion, you know, you can argue it if you want to. That's entirely up to you. That's a, that's your, your opinion. And... WWE, once again, you can fuck off by saying that, you know, AEW is not competition and not on your radar. Because they certainly are. You know, I don't know if you're going to start competing with them, but, you know, knowing Vince, he probably thinks he's just above them. I don't know Vince personally, but just the way that he's been acting recently by saying, well, maybe we'll just send more guys their way. Yeah, thanks, Vince. Yeah, we'll take your Daniel Bryans. We'll take, we'll take your Adam Coles. We'll take Malachi Black from you. You know, oh, you, it, look at it like this, too. Before, um, another closing uh, moment, if you will. So, they they brought they had CM Punk first. WWE didn't, but when they had him on WWE backstage, CM Punk was trending practically maybe all day when he, when he came back on for WWE backstage. Why did WWE, WWE should have seen the type of draw that this man still has and they didn't think about calling him? Just because they're feeling petty that they don't want to talk with him? Punk has gone on a record to say that, you know, he'd be willing to have conversations with them. Um, they apparently didn't want to. That's ridiculous. It's insane that they, that they didn't really want to. And now Punk is there in All Elite Wrestling. He was trending for like two days. Uh, his video when he came back to AEW. Came back to AEW. Debuted for AEW. Is, grows high in the millions of viewers within hours. Insane. I mean this man. You know has been gone for seven years. People still care. And, and he's like the hottest thing. And then you put Brian Danielson there now. Now you got Adam Cole there as well in AEW. You know, I cut black. Insane. Crazy, guys. That the world that we're, the time that we're living in with professional wrestling. I love it. I love professional wrestling. I love being a fan. Again, guys, you gotta be excited and you gotta love this time. So anyways, comment down below. How are you feeling about AEW? You know, what is your what was your thoughts about the pay-per-view tonight? You know, um, feel free to cough and drop that like button and subscribe. Because, you know, I do want to get back to my streaming for uh, my AEW Universe mode. But unfortunately, it's just, you know, I've had some... Uh, been a little bit busy. And I haven't been able to keep up to date with that. But I'm going to try to make sure that I get back to that... Um, Anyways, thanks guys for watching. You know, I know that sometimes my videos go a little bit too long, but I just ramble on sometimes, and I can't learn to shut the fuck up. <laughs> thanks, guys.